do you have the right mindset for the music industry? I know that some people do not want to hear this, but if you want a professional career in the music industry, and by professional I mean making a good living and not working part-time in Starbucks to make rent, you must have a business mindset. 99.9% .9 of creatives in the music industry are self-employed and there are some downsides. There's no sick pay, no holiday pay, no maternity or paternity entitlement. You've got to sort out your own tax, your national insurance and pensions and all that sort of stuff depending on what part of the world you're in. And most of all, if you don't work, you will not get paid. But there are some upsides. It's not all doom and gloom. Don't worry. Hopefully I haven't put you off so far. You get to do something that you're passionate about every day. You get to write songs, record what you write, play live shows, tour the world, and your earning potential is in the millions. Something you may find difficult to do working part-time in Starbucks. Before we dive into the specifics of having a business mindset, let's define what a business mindset is. Simply put, a business mindset is a way of thinking and approaching situations that prioritizes efficiency, profitability, and growth. It involves making strategic decisions, setting goals, and constantly seeking ways to improve and innovate. Now that we've defined what a business mindset is, let's talk about why it's so important for a professional band to have one. There are several key benefits to having a business mindset when it comes to running a band. Setting goals and making strategic decisions. As a band, it's important to have clear goals and a plan to achieve them. This requires making strategic decisions and taking action based on what will help your band succeed in the long run. Building a strong brand. A business mindset can help you create a strong brand identity for your band that sets you apart from the competition. This can help you attract new fans and build a loyal following. Maximizing profitability. Face it, being a musician is not always the most lucrative career path. However, with a business mindset, you can find ways to maximize your profits and make the most of your opportunities. Finding new opportunities. A business mindset involves constantly seeking out new opportunities and ways to grow and expand your band's reach. This can help you stay relevant and successful in the long term. Now that we've talked about the benefits of having a business mindset for your band, let's discuss some practical steps you can take to develop this way of thinking. Set clear goals. Start by setting clear, specific goals for your band. These should be measurable and achievable, and you should have a plan in place to achieve them. Develop brand identity. Work on developing a strong brand identity that communicates who you are and what you stand for. This can involve creating a visual identity, developing a mission statement, and refining your sound and style. Learn about the music industry. Take the time to learn about the music industry and how it works. This can involve researching record labels, music distribution platforms and other players in the industry. Focus on efficiency. Look for ways to streamline your band's operations and make things more efficient. This can involve automating certain tasks, delegating responsibilities and using technology to your advantage. Stay up to date. Keep up with the latest trends and changes in the music industry and be willing to adapt and evolve as needed. This can help you stay relevant and successful in the long term. In fact, in a way you've already started running a business, probably without even realising it. You probably started by writing songs in your bedroom with your trusty guitar and then once you wrote a few songs you thought, I need to add drums and bass to these songs. So I'm guessing that you went online and started to look for other musicians to form a band. Well, 
That's how all small businesses start in the first place. You begin with an idea and when that idea becomes big enough, you realize you need others to help expand your ideas. So you look to employ people to help flush out your songs in this instance. The business mindset is already at work. So why stop here? Why not expand further? Let's say that you start to look at your band like it's a company. Well, what would that look like? Well, you'd have a CEO, president, vice president, heads of departments, you know, and what, I mean, what if you structured your band in the same way, even in loose terms? Most bands have one or maybe two people tops that work on the business side of things, which is nuts. Running a band professionally is far too big for one or two people to handle. Imagine all that goes into making a successful band and how many roles are involved. If you want to be a complete DIY band, which I think is a crazy way of going about things, you must be a musician, a producer, a recording engineer, a mixing engineer, a mastering engineer, a videographer, a location manager, a camera operator, an editor, hair and makeup, set design, lighting, costume design, music manager, business manager, tour manager, logistics, agent. You've got to do marketing and promotion, which will include digital, print, radio and television. You've got graphic design. You've also got sales, which encompasses merchandising, mechanical or physical copies and tickets to gigs. And last on this list is legal. Please don't ever do legal yourself. Remember, these must be worked to a professional standard. After all, if not, your music will barely get heard. You will struggle to play or even get to gigs. And worse, you will get screwed seven ways from Sunday by a crappy deal because you don't have the bargaining power to negotiate a good one. If everyone wants the band to succeed, they will not mind taking on tasks to help run things. They should be willing to complete these tasks within a reasonable time frame. And I know what you're kind of thinking, well, what if we do not know how to do something? Well, there is always someone who knows you just need to be able to source that person. You also need to think to yourself, can this be done cheaply to zero money or will we have to make an investment? For example, something like graphic design, finding a talented student shouldn't be a big deal, but legal advice is obviously well worth the investment. Please find a proper music solicitor. They do not come cheap, not for a good one anyway. Please do not take your record deal to your local solicitor. You know, the sort that usually handles property conveyancing. Hopefully, if you do, they will turn you away, telling you they just don't understand the framework of a recording contract. If they do take you on, please be very afraid. Music law is specific and should only be handled by trained music solicitors and no one else. OK, now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where do I start in all of this? Well, let's start with the actual words themselves, the music industry. Well, it's there in the title, isn't it? You have the music, this is creative, and then you have the industry, this is the business part. Try to put everything into two buckets. One is the music or the creative bucket, and the other is the industry or business bucket. Try to devote or at least schedule time to work on both buckets. Here's what I suggest. You need to get super organized. I look to use either free or cheap software wherever I can, basically because I don't want a massive outlay when we're first starting out. To help you organize things, I would use Google. All you have to do is sign up for a Google account and there you will have access to Google Drive. Then you can access things like Google Docs and Sheets and all that sort of stuff. You can also get Google Calendar and Google Chat, among other apps. Additionally, you get 15 gig of storage for free. This will be your centralized space for your band. You can share songs, documents and spreadsheets and even assign tasks to bandmates, managers, agents 
or whoever is in your team. Organizing your time in Google Calendar will become your new best friend. Sync all other calendars to it, yours and your bandmates, and put it on your phones. We are in the age of communication and connectivity, so there is no excuse for missing a rehearsal or a meeting because everything should be scheduled on your phone with reminders. Now, when I say schedule everything, I mean everything from day jobs, gigs, rehearsals and meetings to birthdays and holidays. Add as much as possible so everybody knows what time things are going on and when you're available. Schedule time to work on band business content creation, songwriting and rehearsals, be as granular as possible. Now you might be asking, but how do we know what to schedule? Well, I suggest you get a Google Doc and you list out every task, just dump everything, then number each task, either one or two. One will be everything creative, like songwriting, content creation and stuff like that. Two is everything business, like creating fan base spreadsheets or researching playlist creators for your genre, that sort of thing. Try to block out a 50-50 split of time in your calendar and add these tasks. Be realistic with your time. Do not give yourself 20 minutes to build an entire website. Once you've identified creative and business tasks, Create two Google documents, call one creative and the other business tasks. Then I break down these tasks as much as possible. Once you have this extensive list, number each task like this. One, I can do myself. Two, in my network. Three, it's amateur or student. Four, is professional. One, I can do myself. Basically, schedule time in your calendar and do it. Stick to your calendar like your life depends on it. Two is in my network. Well, that's quite self-explanatory, but if you know somebody that's a band photographer or your sister's boyfriend designs and makes t-shirts, you kind of get the idea. Use those people to perform those tasks. Amateur and student. These are the tasks that can be completed by anyone. For example, uploading social media content. Even with scheduling platforms, that can be time consuming. Number four, professional. Sometimes you must bite the bullet and face facts. If you want something done to a professional standard, then guess what? You have to pay for it. Otherwise, you will question their professionalism. As a rule of thumb, anything you are trying to sell, music, merchandise, for example, has to be done to a professional standard. Otherwise, you will leave fans feeling shortchanged. Do your research, work out a budget. Try to think of it like this. You can have a hatchback or a Rolls Royce to get you to where you need to go. But when you're parked, are people going to notice the hatchback or the Rolls when they walk by? Now, I know this is old school and it may put you off a little, but try reading books. I know this is really last millennia. If you're really against the idea of reading, audio versions of books are great, but I prefer using a Kindle. The books are cheaper and you can make notes, you can look things up and highlight passages as you go. Now, I know what you're asking, well, which books should I be reading or listening to? Well, books on how to run a small business would be a great start. Books like The Pumpkin Plan, E-Myth Revisited, The Compound Effect, Start With Why, and How to Win Friends and Influence People, to name but a few. I find these books will help with business mindset and give practical advice on things like marketing, sales, accounting, and e-commerce. Anything in there can be extrapolated because at the end of the day, business is business. There you have it, the importance of having a business mindset when running a professional band. By developing this way of thinking, you can set clear goals, build a strong brand, maximize profitability, and find new opportunities to grow and expand your reach. While it takes some time and effort to develop a business mindset, the benefits are well worth it in the end.
Thanks for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.